Hello everyone, my name is Himanshu Sharma and in this video we will be creating a simple Java program and run it as a native executable on a Windows machine. So let's get started. I will be using the Windows 11 sandbox feature and will run it as an administrator. So this gives me a clean environment to start our setup. So you can see over here if I just run Java hyphen version, there is nothing installed over here. So for our setup, we need Microsoft Visual Studio build tools. The second thing we need is Graal VM and the third a simple Java program. The build tools will provide us SDK to create .exe file and the Graal VM will help in converting Java program to .exe file using build tools. So let's start with downloading the Visual Studio build tools. So we go over here and we search for Microsoft Visual uh, Studio build tools. Go over here. You can look at the site visualstudio.microsoft.com download and on top you will get Visual Studio 2022 but we only need the build tools we don't need the Visual Studio so let's scroll down and over here search for build tools so this is the one we need build tools for Visual Studio 2022 let's download it it will be a simple .exe file. Let's get to the location and open it as an administrator. It's just an installer right now, but it will help us to decide what all things we need to install. It is currently booting up and yeah so here you need to select desktop development with c++ you need to check this one and make sure you have msvc and the windows 11 sdk selected if you are working on windows 10 you should have a windows 10 sdk selected now just go ahead and click on install So here you can see the progress it's about to start and yeah the download is started in the meantime let's get to the Graal VM and download the Graal VM so we go to Graal VM website over here and let's download it We will be selecting Java 17 version Windows download. So download gets started in the meantime. You can go to the Graal VM site over here and you can go to Docs and you see the native image getting started option. You can click over here and you can browse through the documentation to get to know about the native image feature. These are all the steps over here. So let's see if the Graal VM is downloaded. It's still in progress. And let's see what the third item is. We still need to create a simple Java program. And for that, 
let's open another notepad instance and here we will be creating a simple class class and we say simple native hello and then we define a main method and in the main method we just expect this method to print a message hello world from native app by crawl vm we'll save it as okay so we'll save it as simple native hello same as class file we'll save in the downloads only dot java and all files let's get it saved so it got saved now so we have our java program ready let's quickly check if we have any syntax on this one we are creating a class simple native hello public static void main string arguments system dot out dot print ln hello world from native app oh we miss one thing uh, yeah we need to close the bracket save it that's it let's close our program and let's see our download progress so Graal VM is downloaded and the build tools are still in progress. So meanwhile the build tools are getting installed. Let's extract our Graal VM. In the downloads directory itself. So yeah, what I will do is we'll put the graal vm java folder over here so let's name it as graal vm java we can delete this one and you can see this is your java location now so let's create our environment variables for this so first thing we do is go to the system variables path edit create a new one browse go to downloads crawl vm and we need till bin that's it done 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 and now let's quickly check run a command prompt and see if we have our java in place and yes we have Graal VM version 17.0.5. So let's exit this. And the progress of our build tools is still in progress. And right now we need one more thing for the Graal VM. And that is we need its native image. So this feature is not present by default in your Graal VM download. To install it, what we have to do is we will open the command prompt and I will again run it as an administrator now and here we just need to type gu install native image so this command will install native image feature in your Graal VM installation it's currently installing and yes the new component native image is complete let's close this and see where our build tools progress is right now it's almost getting completed
for in the meantime we can just uh, glance through the Graal VM page over here and you can see this is the command we just executed to install the native image feature and to give you an idea what we are going to do next is we have the program ready we will compile it and then we run it sorry we build it using the native image and this should give us a .exe file and then we can execute that file like a normal windows application so it's almost getting completed and let's see we can close our applications which we don't need right now and this is nearly done yep so this is how it will look like once uh, all the packages are installed now we can close this now once your build tools are installed now if you go to the start menu and type native you will get the two command prompts like this x86 native tools x64 native tools so currently x86 native tools are not supported by Graal VM so we will be going with x64 native tools so we'll click it and run it as an administrator so you need to make sure whenever you are creating the native images you are going to use the native tools on windows the normal command prompt will not work and will give you some unexpected errors so let's go to the downloads folder where our file is so we'll go over here we'll go to users and here the utility account created by windows is this one and then we go to downloads let's quickly see what all we have so we have our simple native hello java so let's compile it first so this is done and now if i again do the listing i should have a dot class file and that's perfect this is what we need to create the build uh, native image for that native image since this package is already installed we will just specify the name of our class simple native hello that's it and let's press enter so your native image building got started it's running you can see there are total seven steps and it got finished so now if I do the listing of that directory I can see there is a .exe file so if I go over there and you can see over here we have the Java which we created then we have a .class file which was created by Java C command and then we have an .exe file in windows which got created by the native image command now let's run it so like any other application since we are just logging it on the command prompt so we can use the command prompt itself the tools one and we can say simple native hello dot exe and that's it and you can see over here hello world from native app by graal vm you can close it to run this application you don't need the native tools you can do that with the normal command prompts also so i can say simple native hello exe that's it so it's just a windows executable a windows application you just now created using a simple java program so this is the whole setup you need Microsoft Visual Studio build tools 
which we get it from here the graal vm which we get it from here and a simple java program which we created and that's it that's all in this video thank you everyone please let me know in case of any feedback on the comment section thanks for watching have a nice day